Hey, Don here. Okay, I just wanted to show something about my server here. The uh, another hard drive has got a yellow light on it. I'm hoping. I don't know if you can really tell. It's one, two, three, number three. Uh, and I'm suspecting, well, today, it's done it. In the last week, it's happened several different times. To, well, it's happened when there was a perfectly beautiful day, but today we had a storm and, you know, a little lightning, and it wasn't even close. Uh, it it turned off the computer in my it didn't turn shut off our lights altogether just the computer went down it'll go down i think it'll go down in a brownout basically you know just to, uh <clears throat> yeah so this is the uh, hp dl 380 d7 server that i use as my desktop and uh so uh anyway i've already had to pull a hard, a hard drive well it was in a different slot i think was it in that slot? What I had done was I put it up, you know, I had pulled out the one that was going, showing bad, and then put that one in a different slot, and it still showed to be bad, though. If I put it in this slot. There's no hard drive in that one anymore. I took it out because, uh, <clears throat> well, it was throwing an error on boot, but actually that error didn't go away. Let me go over here now. Uh, I was going to hard set it down, but I think it would be much better if I, uh, I'm going to do this left-handed, if I did it, I can't really do that without sitting down, I don't think, I'm changing hands, I guess I'll change hands with the camera, yeah. I'm just going to, I have one program running, I was watching a video at the earlier today when that happened, but uh, I know this camera doesn't do good at screen, at bright screens anyway, I'm going to shut it down normally. It's Fedora 32, I think is what I'm running. Yeah, 32. So we'll shut it down normally. Fedora, uh, Linux, well, domain or Fedora, either one does really well at, you know, recovering. If Even if something happens to and damages something in the file system, it will uh, go ahead and run uh, FSCK, I think it is, and fix it. And so now we're back to normal. This is what it would be like. Can I get better view? Yeah. What would it be like if I had shut it down normally? I'm going to turn down the light so that you can only see the lights on the server. But I'm hoping that that's all it is, is it just kind of whack things out and that that drive will come back. Let's see. The last one I hoped that, and it did not come back. The drive... And I tried it, well, I didn't think, I don't think I had any other thing to plug it into, but yeah, I don't have anything that I can plug it into to test it but the server itself, but I did try to run uh, some test programs on it, and I couldn't, uh, couldn't get it to work again, you know, so I finally took it out. Okay, the lights are just blinking green right now everywhere, so that's a good sign. Well, that one lights out though. The one that was yellow, that's a bad sign. So, it could have damaged it. Uh, you know, with a sudden power loss, it might be might be damaging these hard drives. It's funny that I've never had one get a regular IDE or a SATA drive get damaged from that. In the last 20 years, <clears throat> this is my first server. But HP hard drives, I already knew this when I bought it. But it, 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 HP hard, these are HP branded hard drives that came with it originally. Uh, <clears throat> this is a, this one was built in 2011, so I got it for what was it? Just a, right at $300. It's two six-core processors, uh, 64 gig of RAM, and then I added an eight gigabyte video card. <clears throat> And I had been planning, I've had it for two or more years, over two years now, I think. I had it for 11 months before I even got it set up. Anyway, uh, maybe I've had it three years now. That is not even lighting up at all, that drive. Well, I think what I'll have to do is uh, 
let it do its thing and then see if it'll come back. <clears throat> Everything else is fine. Operating system is booting just fine. Oh, but there is an error on there. That error I was talking about. Okay, what is this? Uh, driver array data backup previously failed. Seen it three times instead of. Okay, disk drives are failed and should be replaced. Okay, that's what happened the last time. Uh, port 2i, box 1, bay 8. Oh, well, that's, there's no drive in that one. Okay, then slot O, uh, recovery needed. The following disk drives need automatic data recovery rebuild. Okay, port 1i, box 1, bay 3, that's it. So it's in bay 3. Oh, I think it may be doing it. Utility, run array diagnostic utility, ADU for more information. Select F1 to retry automatic data recovery. F2 to continue without. Okay, let me get myself in my chair. I can't move this chair and operate the. Got all kinds of my cable. I've got this thing plugged into power in the closet here. Oh, now it's turning green. I thought I was going to have to go answer something before it would boot. I think it was doing it. It's blinking green. So it must be checking. Okay, yeah, okay, it's booted. It did. I think it did it on its own. Uh, must have done it when I didn't answer it. I was standing here, you know, I, I couldn't reach the keyboard or anything. Chair was in the way. Couldn't move the chair. It's heavy. Wheels don't work good on it. A previous video was about my new chair that I don't like, and I'm still going to use my old chair. But Fedora's booting up now. <clears throat> it booted up just fine. It has, like I said, in the last couple of weeks it's happened. Two times within 20 minutes, two different days. And I... I hadn't noticed that drive showing yellow till just now today. And I use, well, I usually just watch for the green light on the power supply, make sure both powers, you know, that it's working right. And uh, when, it, when it gets shut down like that, I don't wait for the drives to all come up. But uh, let's go back over here. It's still... Uh, it may be working because now they're all kind of blinking seemingly randomly. Maybe recovering it right now. I hope so. It probably did damage some data, you know, because it was playing a video. To follow, you know, obviously the cache files that were being written, you know, I'm watching a video on YouTube when it when it shut down. So that's probably, but it probably actually damaged the file system. I'm real familiar with, uh, you know, EXT4, 234, and uh, use BTRFS a little bit, uh, but and LVMs with Linux, the Linux type LVMs, but with the RAID, it's kind, of, it's it's very similar, but there's certain things about it that are different that I don't, I've never dealt with, I, I don't really know, uh, just the very basics about RAID. The funny thing is, is after uh, since 2005 is when I started using Linux, it, RAID is, or Linux is like RAID, or RAID is like Linux, whichever way you want to say it. But uh, yeah. the file systems are, it's a lot of the same thing, like logical volume management and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I was going to say I, I would have originally planned on pulling two of those hard drives and putting a couple of SATA like you know, eight, ten gigabyte drives, but now they've gotten outrageously expensive. <clears throat> but if I lose another drive, uh, then I may have to start doing something about it. What I was going to do is just leave uh, six of the normal drives in there, two for backups, and then uh, uh, put the two big SATA drives in there, but I never did. Well, I have a five and an eight, and I'd, Knew I didn't want to put those in there because they're two different sizes. <coughs> Plus they're full of backup data. 
<coughs> I was going to, there were their uh, Seagate backup drives, USB backup drives, while well, I was just pulling them out of the boxes. I believe that, well, I'm not sure if these are the ones that will fit in these or not. These are the small drives. These eight, this server uses the smaller drives. They're about the size of a laptop drive. And uh, it looks like it's working normally to me, though, now. That one, that one light, the one that was uh, yellow a while ago, is it's blinking steadily at like a steady pace. So it's probably recovering now. And my, uh, <sighs> oh, it's booted up and ready to go. Uh, uh, I'll have to just log in and hit start and type, you know, start X to get it up and going. But I'll check back on it and see what happens later. It might be out several hours before it uh, finishes running that data recovery or fails running it or whatever happens. But I'm pretty sure it is doing the data recovery. All right. I just wanted to get a video of that. Sorry about the handheld shakiness.